You've got mail. Yes. Open this box so hard. Well, hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Everyday EDC. It is very late, but I haven't had a knife in the mail in a while, and I was pretty excited because I got one today. And this is uh, it's a very classic design, so I feel pretty obligated to well, I'm just making an excuse for me rushing this as opposed to setting up. But here's our box, here's my unboxing knife for the day. This is the QSP Penguin and Titanium 154CM. So let's get into this. This is basically a video based on my own impatience rather than anything else. I can make up whatever excuse I really need to, but I don't need to. It's just <laughs> how we're doing it, right? All right. So I know exactly what's in this box. It's not like some previous ones where I like opened up so much stuff that I had no idea what I was getting in. I know exactly what this is, and I have never felt this before. Already can tell you, this feels larger than I originally had thought. This is a ProTech, which is going to read backwards anyways, because the camera is backwards. I got this kind of like, I've been eyeballing this, um, but I ended up getting this just I sold a bunch of stuff and wow okay <laughs> so I sold a bunch of stuff and had some funds in PayPal that I'm like all right let's 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 get a knife on top of kind of what we're trying to do here so this is the ProTech rock eye now this lighting's kind of cool because it just shows the knife itself already can tell you let's see here the knife is perfectly centered up so that's very cool you guys have a hard time seeing it but there's some really nice jimping. This thing is way larger than I thought it was going to be. Not not uncomfortably so. This is actually a pleasant surprise. Uh, this is all aluminum, 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. Um, as you guys know, it's just a high magnesium, high silicon content for regular aluminum alloys. Um, I believe this blade is probably 154 CM or CBM 154. Uh, this is the knurled, I believe, is what they call that. Let's try to get you some. It's uh, knurled. It's got like this little texturing going on here. Feels really good. This knife overall feels really cool so far. Um, pocket clip. I don't remember Protex. I haven't held a Protex in a while short of the uh, Protex SNG that I have, which I, I love that knife too. I say too like I already know I'm going to love this one. In hand, I can already tell you I really love the size. The size feels fantastic. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. So, already, no back and forth, no up and down. Feels really good. The ergonomics feel really, really good. I'm hearing some, like, beeping in the background. I'm like, what the hell is that? The ergonomics feel really, really good. Uh, like, kind of neutral, but just strong. And then this little ramp right here, the Les George... I believe I believe this is modeled after the VECP or the Rakai itself, which is you know just a classic design. Now you can kind of tell I, this always looked kind of dumb to you until you get it in hand and you're like, oh, I get it. All right, very cool. So here's the blade itself. Let's see if we can get it in a good light. Very heavily stonewashed. I believe it's etched as well. Here is the designer's logo. This, I'll read it off to you. It just says George, and it has like this kind of like, almost like a Crusader cross style thing going on. Protec USA on the one side, and I actually don't see the blade steel anywhere. Wait. Oh, this is S35. Interesting. All right, so let's check the, holding down the button. It's got a lot of actual tension going on there, so that's cool. Really impressed with these ergonomics, really impressed with the size. I kind of get why they came out with a short-bladed rock eye or the SBR, because this definitely feels kind of large. Not large for me. I, I actually really love this size. I can already tell. Oh, man, I'm glad I picked this up. This is really, really nice. Um, 
but it does feel large that some people may not appreciate it this large. So, first and foremost, as you guys can see, here's the knife's profile. Let's get you guys, my current carry for the day was the, uh, what is that, the Hogue Sig K320. As you can see, just about the same exact size. A lot of similarities here. Well, let's get you guys a lot of similarities here. Um, just looking at it, these are almost virtually the same length. And yeah, so I have no problems with that there. We can do another comparison if I can do this without. This style sucks, but I'm kind of glad I did because I want to play with this knife. As you can see, here's the QSP Penguin. A little bit shorter, probably about overall, if I had to guess, about an inch shorter in length. And yeah, so really glad I got this. Uh, I can I can tell you, I'm. It's one of those that I get it right out of the box. This is not a disappointment. I do not believe this was overhyped, although you know it wasn't necessarily hyped lately, but it's a knife that's been hyped for quite some time. There's a reason there is a, a following of the SBRs, the Rock Eyes, that type of thing, and they're so hot. And I, I kind of get it. This isn't one of those that I'm disappointed at all. So that's about all I got to say about that so far. Well, we can check the sharpness on a receipt. This is receipt paper, so it's going to be much more thin. And as you can see, popping it. It's, it's this thing sharp as a whip. I'll check it on some arm hairs, which you guys won't be able to see. I'll just be able to tell you about it. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see what the leftovers are there. That's all arm hair with a couple swipes. And to my knowledge, this is the factory edge. I think I am the second or third owner of this, but both owners claimed that they never sharpened it. And So if they did, they did a pretty damn good job. I can't, I can't tell if they did or did not. That being said, if it was sharpened by the factory, they left a pretty aggressive yet polished edge. So I, I, it does kind of look like a factory edge. All in all, really excited to have this. Uh, it lived up to the hype, so I'm pretty excited to carry this guy. Really, really love the neutral style look. The action is phenomenal. Like I said, no back and forth, no up and down. Um, yeah, the ProTech Rock Eye. My name is Tyler. This is Everyday EDC. You guys stay sharp, stay safe. Sorry for the quality of video, but I am not sorry for my impatience. I'm glad that I got this out. Have a great day, guys. Hey, guys. What's going on? So today I'm going to be doing a quick pocket dump, but the reason I'm doing a pocket dump via video is that it's a little bit more unique than my normal pocket dump. I couldn't decide and I had this dilemma, which I'm sure we all do from time to time, of man, which should I carry? And I swapped out knives out of my pocket for no functional reason. There was no function thought behind this, just what do I want to carry, right? So this dilemma has led me down a path that I think I'm going to make a couple videos out of this, and this isn't one of those couple videos, but let's get to the pocket dump real quick. So first that I wanted to carry is my Kershaw Launch 1. Now, some of you guys may be saying, well, that's obnoxious. It's just a Kershaw Launch 1. It's not that big of a deal. Well, it is to me. I really, really like this knife. I think this knife is amazing. Next... I wanted to carry my Protec SNG. Got this from Johnny in a trade. Really loved this knife. Really loved this knife. Awesome. Last is a knife that I received yesterday that I was like, oh no, this is really good. So far for com competition in my pocket for automatics, full-size knives are my Launch One and my Protec SNG. But now we have another contender, ladies and gentlemen, and this one is a heavyweight. This thing is awesome, and this thing is my ProTech 
Rock guy. Woof. It fires so hard, it feels so good in hand. Oh man. This thing is sweet. Absolutely freaking sweet. Um, and so here's my dilemma. I'm not gonna be keep, I'm driving, so I'm not gonna be keeping picking those up. I would like to show you all three. Maybe I'll take a picture or something at the end of this, put it on there. But here's my dilemma. They're all kind of the same night. Now, you might be going, oh, blasphemy. Not really. They all have generically the same blade shape. The launch is probably the most unique. Uh, then you got the SNG, which is like has that big choil. It's a little bit more narrow. And then you got the Rock Eye, which is just a big old drop point. They're both, all three are automatics. The Rock Eye probably, not probably, definitely fires harder than the other two. And actually, the SNG might fire the least, with the least amount of force out of all of them. But it's it's so minute. I mean, you can tell the rock out of the other ones. You really can't hit or miss. I thought. I think the launch hits harder than the pro, or the SNG, but whatever. So I'm gonna be making a series. I'm gonna be comparing the three knives, and I'm not promising that I'm gonna get rid of one. Nope. Because I really like all three of these. And uh, but I think I would. The, the idea, and I might get rid of one, maybe I'll talk myself into it, but the idea is, is they're all kind of the same, you know, like, and I wonder, it makes me wonder, like, how many other knives that I have, and it's kind of idiotic that we're just now asking this question, but how many other knives do I have that are all kind of the same, right? I mean, I have my SOG Terminus, really like the SOG Terminus, and I have my Benchmade Bug Out, different, but kind of the same. My Wii Esprit, totally different than the Bug Out, but is it? Like I noticed today, they're very similar, kind of the same. Now, obviously there's different nuances, they're totally different design, but I'm saying same size, same generic blade shape, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I'm kind of going on down the list, I'm like, damn, damn. Like, I didn't realize I own like 15 of the same freaking knife. So I want to go through and I'm going to be doing a little series of that. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments below if you've ever had one of those moments where you're like, oh, these are all kind of the same. And that doesn't mean I love them any less. Uh, I wasn't sure what to carry. And so I brought them all three along. I'm gonna do a little study on all three of them. Um, and I, I to, to prove that I wasn't intending to do this, I brought all my tools and stuff and I was gonna kind of touch up, um, I think it was the Kaiser Doman before review, I was like, all right, let's let's start working on this for the review. And then I'm like, no, nah, I want to carry my rock eye. Oh, but my SNG is really nice. But my launch one, I really like that knife too. So I'll do like a three-way battle between the three. Uh, kind of give you the ins and outs of each. Because if you're looking at these and you're saying they're kind of the same, or I'm looking at them and saying they're kind of the same, they're all different until you see them all together. And then you're like, huh, okay. So they might have different functions and everything like that, but I mean, realistically, they're different, but still the same. Not really an interesting video, more of a pocket dump. Again, here's my rock eye, I love it. It fires so hard. Launch one. It doesn't seem like it fires hard anymore after the rock eye, but it fires hard as shit, I mean, it still does. And then your SNG. Yes, there's stuff on the tip of that. I cut into aluminum stuff all the time like an idiot. Because I have no intentions of trading these knives. Uh, I really enjoy these, and I'm kind of on an automatic knife kick right now, so take that for what you will. All right, guys. I think that's really all I got. It's just a quick whatever. It's going to go tandem with the unboxing of the Rock Eye. i going to post them both today so you guys can see those. But uh, my name's Tyler. It's Everyday EDC. You guys stay sharp. Stay safe. And have a great freaking rest of your day. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, guys, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and or leave a comment. The whole reason this channel was created was to interact with you guys and just share the love of knives. So until next time, you guys stay sharp, stay safe, and have a great freaking rest of your day. Thanks for watching.